What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use math.random. Basically what math.random is, is it goes ahead and creates a random pattern for you, which ends up making your light bar pattern look really, really good. So it's really simple actually. You would just want to do the same thing that you were going to do. So you put that, put it on your car, go into your car, go into your car, go body, and then once you get the body, press the plus and type model. Now you're going to rename your light bar, your model light bar. Once you're done with that, you go ahead and put this light bar on your car, which I'm not going to make mine perfect. So I honestly don't give a flying F right now. But once you're done with that, you can either use a pre-lit light bar, which is what I'm doing. Um, so if you are using prelit, you go in first. You want to drag that into your car, and then you go in, and take all these, and go transparency zero. Make the material neon, and then whatever color. Like we're gonna do medium blue. So you have that, obviously it's not going to look good with this on the top, so we can just delete that. Once you have that, you go ahead and, and grab all your light parts and drag it into the light bar thing. And you can go ahead and close this, and then go to plus on the light bar script. You want to go main vet, true do wait, if main vet dot stage dot value if we will one then this is where it gets a little different you're gonna do main vat dot whatever you name it which we have to name ours so we're gonna go w1 w2 w3 w4 w5 w6 w7 w8 w9 w10 w11 w12 w13 W14, W15, W16, W17, W18. Now that you have that, you're going to go to mainvet w one dot transparency equals math dot random. And then you're going to do zero comma space one. Now what you're going to do, copy this, not do that. Copy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Hmm. So you only need eighteen. If you're you just do however many you have for me, I have eighteen. So we're gonna do two W two. W3, W4, W5, W6, W7, W8, W9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, you're going to do your wait time 0 0.05. And then you're going to go ahead and create this, copy this. Hit enter, paste. Now I suggest you're just gonna copy this entire thing. Now, for me, I'm just gonna do all three stages the same thing. So mainvet.stage equal equal to then paste that. Else if mainvet stage dot value equal equal three, then paste it again. Now I'm gonna go else. And this is where it's going to be a pain in the ass. I do main vet w1 dot transparency equals one. That's where you get into the normal script just for else. So three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Go ahead and renumber all these. I'm 
once you're done with that, go ahead and go up here. Don't do that. Go into your script. Go ahead and apply edits. Once you apply the edits, close this out. Go ahead and get a car that already has the um, all the stuff you need for the ELS to work. So in that case, you're going to need the stage, the strobes, the remote event, and the middle. You're going to right-click, copy, go in here, and you're going to paste into the light bar. You're going to drag this inside of your car. Now that you have that, now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go into game, not run. You're going to want to go to in game, and then wait for your character to load in, and then stage one, two, three. So that is how you do a math.random pattern. So pretty much what it does, it just creates random patterns. As you see, it looks really, really good. Um, yeah. This looks like really good. The patterns usually look well. Um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe. My name has been Braden. Stay safe. Take care.